Chapter 29X, Battle Preparations. Hey everyone, Sean Joker here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Farm Lim. In the last episode, we finished defending Ostia while Nurgle sent us a message to me and at the Dread Isle. This episode, we're going to make our last minute preparations before having our final battle with Nurgle. We've received lords from Captain Vargas. We come to bat on. They give us passage to the Dread Isle. Well then, let's get going. It would be best if we outfit ourselves before setting out. We will need many supplies for a campaign on Valor. Castletown here is better than stocked in battle. Sure. We can empty the coffers here and sell the treasure need. Hooray! Uh, within limits, of course. Say, 30,000 gold? That seems a reasonable amount. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's use Castle Towns as impressive as ever. Shops and items of all types imaginable. For generations, our ancestors dedicated themselves to a sort of frugal militarism. Nobles and commoners alike shun the extravagance. Corrupt neither the body nor the mind, they cried. Since the time of rule, this has been the dominant ideology of Ostia. I heard that when Lord Uta participated in the Lycian Council as Marquas Ostia, he gave a sc 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 scathing indictment of the pure system. Now I understand. His philosophy had its roots in the history of Ostia itself. That's right. This thinking runs the lifestyles of many of our aristocrats. So some groups view my brother with enmity. I must grow wiser so I can sit at my brother's side and aid him. Of course, my fighting skills are not yet what they should be. This isn't the place for that kind of talk. Gotta get going. Come on. Yes, I will go with you. Lindis, let's go. Mm-hmm. And I'll make the preparation. Preparations were very short, as this is a very simple chapter. And once again, we can't get an augury, so. Though I don't think we'll really need Merlinus this chapter. Lord Hector, Sir Oswald. I brought you the 30,000 gold you asked for from the treasure. Alright, and we got 30,000 gold, so let's get spending. Now, as for who I went with, or this is a far first in the Fire Emblem series, we're having no enemies whatsoever. So I just brought characters who I want to work on with for supports. It's impossible for me to really max out Matthew and Oswin at this point, but... That's the chain that I wanted to show off since it's all we can really do with Osman, at least out of the members on my team. I'm trying to get Raven and Lucius to A. And same with uh, Guy and Priscilla. And once again, I have given up hope of actually maxing out Saint and Fiora. Who's to say that I can't show it off? So I'm just gonna buy what I think we need. I'm not going to bother with iron weapons at this point, because we're in the end game. So I think I'm just going to buy like silvers and special axes. I'm actually running low on space with Merlinus, so I think I'm going to have to be careful. Put Priscilla there so Guy can go here. We can still build support. Buy a bunch of swords because I kind of need that. And yeah, we're good. Uh, let's see here. Same. Yeah, you can go there. Bows. 
I need lo another longbow for Rath. Killer bow, I think, is good. And, uh... Oh uh, yeah, I think we'll just put your there so they can have support. Oh, uh, let's see here. Matthew, you go there. You go buy an Elfire for Pence. Get Lucius a Divine. And... Wow, all they have is Flux. <laughs> Not even knows for Ratu? I also gave Oswin a Dragon Shield because he is this team's wall. And he's probably going to max out defense in the last episode. Also, when looking through preparations, I realized that Sane maxed out his strength stat. <laughs> Alright. Elwood. I'm going to be here. I honestly don't aim a bear on this team to use the body ring on, so. Yeah, I think I. I'm just going to give it to him for the sake of helping him out double stuff in case he ever struggles with it, but he's almost maxed on speed, I guess, realize. This team got really blessed growths. I want to do, uh, I want to send some people into the, uh, arena so there's some level of experience growth. See any supports yet? No. And you know, get some mend covers. I know we're my lance is full crap. So, uh, hmm. As for who to go, who's first to go to the arena? I think we'll send Raven in. No, I'm gonna be real here. Uh, no, no. All right, a paladin with a sword. Raven should be fine. Yeah, I think Raven will be fine as long as he doubles, which he does. Okay. Uh, Yuri always scares me, baby. <laughs> And Raven! <sighs> Alright, you you got your level. Alright, level 8. And you, you got more strength. Holy crap. Elwood has more strength than Raven. Is so that something I thought I'd ever say? But here we are. <laughs> Right, yeah, Raven got a good level up there. Movie or insane here, so maybe they can uh, go in. Uh, Scylla? Yeah. Alright, Oswin. Oh, yeah, because of the boots, Oswin has more movement than Matthew. Lynn, yeah. You know, it supports the build, but you can still get. No, no, I don't want to suspend. You can still gain experience. Alright, any supports? No. And no. Alright, as for who I want to send in, it all depends on who's the lowest level. Unless maxed out on his skill stat. Um. Elwood would be my candidate, but he's too far away. So let me just double check everything. I, uh, you know what? I, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna send Lucius in again. Okay, that that is troubling. Oh, thank you. It. Oh, what was with this team and getting criticals when you don't need them? I mean, I'm not exactly complaining. Lucius. Uh, yeah, I think... 
First, let me double check if you have any supports now. I think I'll let you go in again. Warrior! Alright. This guy's a... <laughs> I knew warriors had low resistance. Even for axe user standards, but... Seriously? Right, Elwood. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put him there and then next turn. No! <laughs> next turn he can, uh. Oh, it's the last turn on this map. Yeah, this is very short, especially when you're when you're maxed out on Merlinus. Alright, Wyvern. Ah, uh, but he's using a sword. This is scary. But Elwood, hopefully you can dodge and gain some experience. There we go. Oh, that hurt. But he should be fine. Yes, he is. Okay. And with that, he is now level four. Nick. We got any very level ups, but yeah, that's it. This I was really hoping you guys would gain support. Matthew, how are you still not S ranking swords? Not your cover. Let's head out for bad on. Then to the Dread Eye. Welcome home, Master. Limstella. Look at this. The child's dragon stone. What will you do with it? I will infuse it with quintessence. This is... The dragon girl. Ninian's essence. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This I will be able to call dragons whenever I please. Shall we begin the process right away? No, I lost some quintessence from the injuries I took from Athos. To summon the numbers, I need, I must have more essence. One must be fully prepared when dealing with dragons. They wrestled free from my control and killed me. All would be for naught. I fear to report. Quintessence from the Black Pang has all been used. Where shall the next harvest come from? <laughs> all the materials we need are heading this way. Even now. I see. Hello, wooden friends. That's right. I will crush them, steal their essences, and call forth my dragons! <laughs> so yeah, not not very exciting to capture, but things will hopefully get better next time. Anyway, next time on Let's Play Fire Emblem, we'll be heading to the Dread Isle. To hopefully, once and for all, Deal with Nurgle. This has been Child Joker. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time.